I created my website in 9 days in React with no experience and this is how I did it. This is coding my first website from scratch. I'm trying to take my design business to the next level which means moving it out of Upwork and creating my own website. Instead of using WordPress or hiring someone, I want to really challenge myself and learn new skills. To get started, I browsed through some awesome portfolio websites for an inspiration and I used ChatGPT to write a copy. Then I moved to my tablet and I sketched the wireframe. I created a simple structure with a hero banner, main reel, about the section, case studies, testimonials and contact form. So this took me like all day. Stay tuned for the day 2 tomorrow. I'm taking on the challenge of coding my own website with no experience. It's only day 2 but I already finished my wireframe and today I'm turning it into a prototype using Adobe XD. I'm gonna make the hero section pop with some big letters, flex my fancy clients and add some cool 3D images that I found online. Gonna also throw in some hype testimonials to boost our credibility. Then I'll show off our portfolio and introduce our handsome team. Now we just need a way for people to contact us and we are good to go. Follow me for day 3 when the real pain starts. This is day 3 of coding my website with no experience. Yesterday I finished my prototype and today it's time to start coding. Obviously I need to make my life more difficult and I have to choose the most advanced tech. So instead of simple HTML I'm gonna use React with Next.js and plain CSS. I've got a tiny bit of experience with React but I never written a single line of code of CSS. I started by following a YouTube tutorial and after two hours I realized we have different versions and I have no idea how to fix that. Then I spent like an hour by reading the documentation and another hour by regretting my life decisions. In the end I decided to go with the documentation and start coding. With the help of the internet I managed to create a navigation bar and after I figured out how to center all the icons the day was gone. Follow me for day 4 tomorrow. This is the day 4 of coding my website with no experience. Yesterday I failed following a YouTube tutorial and today I have to take some big boy steps and figure it all out by myself. I started by creating an index page where will be the layout and all the section components. Then I made placeholders for all the components and after 4 hours of work the site starts to look like a word document. I totally deserve a pat on the back for this and I can happily wrap it up for today. Follow me for day 5 tomorrow. I'm taking on the challenge of coding my first website with no experience and this is day 5. Today I'm adding the most important part which is the hero section and my show reel. You might think that adding video is simple as this. But apparently in Next.js you need to download another library and then import it with another library and then just pray for it to work. I cannot even imagine how much time would this take me without the chat GPT. Even though it's been a huge help I always try to do everything by myself first so I learn at least something. I feel that all these AI tools are great but if you really want to harness their power you need to know what's going on under the hood. I've also managed to make the video play and stop based on the visibility on the screen which made me to learn a user ref hook and took 3 hours of my life. Follow me for day 6 tomorrow. I'm taking on the challenge of coding my first website with no experience and this is the day 6. Yesterday I finished the hero section and today I'm adding an interactive grid with client logos and about us page. I thought that 6 icon grid would take me like 15 minutes but oh boy I couldn't be more wrong. All the icons were different sizes and aspect ratios so centering them took about half of my life. Then I had a brilliant idea to fill them all white and then change them to the original colors on hover. I wish I could travel back in time to slap me in the face for this decision since this made me read entire stack overflow but look how pretty it looks now. Then I added short about the section with a button and an image and I had quite enough for today. Honestly at this point I thought I would be already done but it seems like this is turning into a long term project. Follow me for the day 7 tomorrow. I'm taking on the challenge of coding my own website from scratch with no experience and this is the day 7. I'm using React with Next.js and even though getting started was quite difficult after a week it all starts to make a little bit of sense. Today I'm adding a testimonial carousel and I had this brilliant idea to make it dynamic based on an array in a JSON file. In that way it will save me 5 minutes to add a new testimonial but it will add 5 hours to make it all work. That's the deal I couldn't say no to. I started by creating a testimonial component that will map over the array in a JSON file to render a card component to which I'm passing the data from the JSON. Then I style the cards and I use media queries to switch between 1 and 2 card display. I added the buttons and sliding functionality to switch between the cards. This part was quite intuitive so I couldn't just stop there. I wanted it to automatically scroll to the second card when the component is on screen for a few seconds so the users know that there are more cards. And this where went the rest of the day. In the end this little thing is almost 300 lines of code. Someone suggested that I should use the webflow and I guess I should have taken that advice. Follow me for the day 8 tomorrow. I'm on the challenge of coding my first website with no experience and this is the day 8. Today I'm adding the portfolio section and again I'm trying to make my life difficult. My idea 
idea is to dynamically render portfolio pieces based on a JSON file, similar to what I did for the testimonials. So I created a portfolio component and portfolio header, and above that I added a little menu to select from featured and all projects. I'm gonna have a boolean variable in a JSON file that will mark the featured project. I created a map that goes over an array in a JSON and generates project cards. Each card has the description on the left and the video on the right. The original idea was to flip the description and the video for every second item, but I couldn't make it work without hard coding it. Any idea how to do it just with CSS? I still had some time left, so I made the contact form and the footer. After all the struggle, this was probably the easiest part, or maybe I have actually learned something. I still need to add interactivity and tweak the design, but so far I'm quite surprised how I've been able to tackle every problem. Follow me for the day 9 tomorrow. I'm coding my first website in React with no experience. It's day 9, and today comes the toughest task. First I got a navigation working using React scroll library, then I designed a mobile navigation using just CSS and I used email.js for the contact form. It automatically sends the message to my Gmail account and is also free. Getting the site online was the biggest challenge. GoDaddy.com where I bought the domain and the hosting didn't work with Node.js and their support quoted with triple price for the compatible hosting. I found that Versal.com hosts Next.js websites for free. I just had to create a GitHub repo and it automatically updates after every commit to GitHub. And there you have it, my website is live and looking great. It took me only 9 days to go from start to finish. Not too bad for a beginner like me, what do you think? 